Right now on California Live, get ready to break up with your makeup. We're letting you in on our industry secrets and hacks so you can update your beauty routine. California Live. Not sure when to let go of that tube of mascara or your favorite eyeliner? Our expert Berlin, the bad boy of beauty himself, is here with some great advice to freshen up your summer makeup. Stick around, your new look could be just 60 seconds away. Welcome back. Summer is here, which means now may be the perfect time to freshen up your makeup routine. Luckily, our friend Berlin, the bad boy of beauty, is here with some tips on when to break up with your makeup. And he's revealing makeup secrets you can only get from a pro. Hey, Berlin, I can't wait for this. <laughs> Hey, Danny, how are you? And have I got a secret for you, superstars? Just like a bad relationship, when is it time to break up with your makeup? I'm here at the private beauty layer of my BFF and celebrity makeup artist, Christina Flack, and she's going to tell us when it's time to let go. Hello, gorgeous. Hi, how are you? Mwah. Thank you for coming. Thank you for having us in your beautiful Absolutely. beauty layer. So we all want to know, does makeup have an expiration date? Absolutely. Mascara lasts two to three months max if you want it to use it at its prime. So what I like to say is there's bacteria and germs and it starts drying out, it's not going to be as good, so see you later. And the bacteria can the bacteria can build up like yeah. it's getting infected. Yeah, and it's not a fine wine, it's not getting better so with time. So you want to swap that baby out and kick Hi. it to the curb. Bam. All right, what about foundation? Let's get to foundation. Okay, great. Foundation, one year max, because it starts getting, there's it's exposed to sun and it gets hot, it can separate and curdle, it's not going to cover as well. So I like to say one year and get a new one. Go so try something new. So what an excuse, ladies, to get Absolutely. new makeup. You're just going to swap that out. Yes, you are. We're going to bring in our model, Lauren, and she's going to tell us, we want you to tell us, how do you choose the perfect foundation? With all the foundations out there, how do we get the right pigment? Okay, we've been told all our lives, the biggest wives' tale all, is let's put it on our hand or in our, our right, wrist. Right, stripes on yeah, our... Yeah, no, no, no. It's going on your face, so why are you going to do that? We have different colors, <laughs> right? So Makes this, sense to me. Right? So this is obviously much too light, and this is way too dark, and look here. It disappears, and that's exactly what you want. So you want to try it on the area that you're going to be using it, and Disappear. you're going to just blend Pat. it in, and it disappears. And it disappears. I promise you, if you get a non-matte foundation that disappears, you'll have gorgeous, dewy skin. You'll look like you've been on a photo shoot. Pinky promise? Bam! All right, so you're at a party. You're with all your friends. You're not Are you your... with me? Well, I said your friends. Oh, not, not my best friend. Okay, fine. So and you're at the party. <laughs> What's the single most question you get asked about makeup when you're at a party? Hands down, the biggest question I'm asked is, who is the most difficult person I've ever worked with in Hollywood? And guess what? Never going to say. Mum's the word. I would like to continue working in Hollywood, right? Right. So the, the next question is, uh, how do I get rid of the dark circles under my eyes? And so what I love to do is make sure that there is moisturizer, and I pat, 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 pat. Okay, and I do thin layers of concealer under the eye. I love this one by Maybelline because it is covers, it's moist, and it's an amazing price point. It's fantastic. I like it. it's all in one. You don't all need a brush one. for it. It's no, got a, it's, it's got, got a, its own little brush, and you just kind of blend it in. It's fantastic. What about powder? Oh. A lot of people put powder over the no, concealer. No, never. The never? worst thing ever. Never, never ever, 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 never, okay. ever. Okay. Okay. Never, ever. Because never, ever. it does not fix the problem. It actually accentuates the problem of showing fine lines and wrinkles. Never want to do it. Okay, Terrible. so the powder will actually bring the wrinkles out. The worst thing ever. All right, well, thank you for that. What a powerhouse of information. We're yes. going to thank Lauren and bring in our next model, Hannah. Come on in, Hannah. So, you know, you're at us. It's, it's daytime. It's cover girl. We like that cover girl, dewy look. But now we're going clubbing and we want to be popping. Right. What are some tricks of the trade that you can share with us so we're popping at night? Okay. First of all, you are going to run to the powder room and you are going to get a seat cover. And yes, I said seat cover and don't get mad. Ladies, you know what we're talking about yes. in the powder room, the seat cover. You're going to get a tiny little bit of it and you are going to press and lift, press and lift, press and lift. And what this does is it absorbs all the oil, but the foundation is intact. So it's, it takes the place of those oil papers exactly. that lift that you the oil. Don't have. So then Amazing. what we're going to do, I like to make everything look a bit more dramatic. So we're going to just fill in the brow here, extend it out, and then we are going to get some eyeliner. Close your eye. We're just going to make it a little look up. We're going to do it a little bit heavier. And then we're going to do some gentle contouring under the bone, under then, the bone, and then the strap. 
another hack. My nanny Paige taught me this. A little strap under here makes all the, everything disappear. And then I know you have a trick and a, and, a, and a hack with the mascara pulling it out. Oh my gosh, it's the best one. So guess what? We're going to blend it, we're going to pull it out to this corners, and we're going to smudge it into the line here because that's going to give the illusion of eyeliner. It's fantastic right and there. And what about a Q-tip? I know oh, Q-tips besides me are your best friend. Best friend ever. Guess why? You don't have to carry around your makeup brushes. You can use them for everything. You can fill in the brow. You can use it for liner. You can use it for lip. And guess what else? If you make a mistake, boom, 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 you clean it up and you toss it, all gone. That's an amazing hack. I love the fact that you don't have to carry around your brushes with you. You're going right. to go and you just go. And so now we're going to go to the lips. Okay, the lips. We're going to fill them in with liner. Here we go. We're so gonna, you're gonna, do you use a darker liner? Yeah, we're going to do a darker liner because we want her to look a little bit more glam for night. So we're going to make them look a little bigger. We're going to put a little lipstick. And then I love using this Pretty Girl lip gloss on top because it gives the illusion of bigger, fuller lips. I love that. And bam, you're done. Bam, boom, she's <laughs> ready for the club. Okay, yes. well, we're going to bring our other model, Lauren, back in. I want to thank Lauren. I want to thank Hannah. And most importantly, I want to thank my BFF, Christina Flack, for letting us come into her beauty Thank layer. you for having me. And I remember you guys to love large and to dream big. Berlin, you guys can't go yet. I have too many questions. I have a couple questions for you. Is that all right? <laughs> <laughs> okay, Danny, yes. So the concealer, what would you suggest? Would you do cream or like liquid? Which one would you use? So she, so Danny's asking us about the concealer. Would right. we use cream or liquid when you're using concealer? You can use either, whatever you have handy, but just make sure that there's moisturizer underneath and you blend it in in thin layers. You don't want to do it thick and clumpy. And it's also, just going to show. Danny, the powder, you don't want to powder over Ever. it because it brings out the fine lines. I, I'm blown away Not by that. And then one last question. How long can you keep eyeshadow? <laughs> So the question is, how yes. long can you keep eyeshadow? Eyeshadow can last two or three years. It's much easier, but make sure you keep it clean, cover it up, and, and keep your brushes clean. It's super important. Everything will last longer. So Danny, I think the moral of the story is, is make sure your lids are tight so you can't get bacteria in, make sure things are covered and you keep your makeup clean so it can last as long as you can. But when it's time, swap it out and go shopping and get yourself some new. All right, thank you so much, Berlin and Christina. That was very informative, thank you.